This week I attended the Austin Economic and Real Estate Update that was presented by David Tandy, uh, uh, founder and president of Texas National Title. And I thought I'd share some of those things with you because if you're watching, if you're watching the news online or, or reading major newspapers, you're, you're sort of hearing uh, news that is almost like schizophrenic about the real estate market nationally and even here locally. For example, here's a couple of headlines he, po he pointed out. U.S. housing boom is coming to an end starting in Dallas. Another one, prices are falling in these seven cities and it listed Austin as number one. The housing slowdown is here starting with Dallas. So you've got these uh, headlines out there. Many of them just are not true. And so let me share with you some of the things I learned as I participated in this economic update. Uh, one of those is that we are closing in on the longest expansion phase ever in the U.S. economy. Now, we don't know what's going to come after that. Maybe it could go on for another uh, three years or five years, or, or maybe we could go into a recession for some, uh, some unknown reason. But uh, uh, it, it's quite amazing, uh, this uh, lengthy expansion phase. But then consider uh, it was following the uh, 2008 real estate crash and the great recession so we started out in a very big hole so maybe this expansion is really only about six years old some of the uh, strong economic factors that david uh, pointed out that affects us here in austin population growth texas is the number one state in regards to population growth and in austin we are still experiencing 150 people net gain uh, every day here in Austin. Job growth. Austin is number four in the nation for job growth. Low unemployment, only 2.7%. We have a lot of unful unfulfilled job vacancies, over 40,000 vacant jobs in November of 2018. Consumer confidence across the board is the highest it's been in 18 years. And uh, rising incomes. We have the fifth fastest growth rate among major metros across the United States. So, so a lot of things are positive about uh, the Austin market. So why all the worried headlines? Well, across the nation, the biggest red flag, and I told you I was going to mention this uh, in a Facebook post earlier, the biggest red flag is that across the nation, housing prices are outpacing rising incomes but that's not the case here in austin as a matter of fact incomes rising incomes is tracking a rising house prices and the median family income here in austin is almost ninety two thousand dollars so what do we expect in austin real estate in 2019 it's going to look pretty much like 2018 we're not going to have the six percent annual uh, rising home prices that we had for a number of years uh, this last year we had uh, in 2018 a 4% uh, increase in uh, in home prices and it looks like 2019 is going to look pretty much like 2018. Good news for buyers, interest rates did not go up as was predicted this time last year, predicting 5%, maybe even up to 6%. Mortgage rates really right now about 4.5%. So really a great opportunity for buyers to get into the market. Great opportunity for sellers to get top dollar for your home. So look, Dan Forbes, Forbes Property Group, Remax One, Cedar Park, Texas. If you have a real estate need, who are you going to call? You know it.